I don't know, but it, just, it doesn't sound realistic. You know what I mean? Ah, it only don't sound realistic because all you are around is sin. You have to pitch yourself in new positions, put yourself in a new place. Because if you're surrounded by people that sin it, then of course you're gonna sin. Why wouldn't you? If I was around, if I was around my homies and they go to the strip club every day, they getting drunk every night. And I used to be the one getting people to get drunk. So I used to be on the opposite side of this. But mm -hmm. if, when it comes to that Bible, I'm gonna respond to anybody. If Hitler was alive, he asked me about a Bible verse. I'm like, I got you. <laughs> No, I'm no, I'm not joking. So if you're really trying to give your life to Christ, you have to really do it. It can't just be words and say I'm trying every day. How long are you gonna say you're trying? Are you gonna say that on your deathbed too? Lord, I'm trying. Nah. G Jesus said, Jesus said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of the Father which is in heaven. And then he said, Get away from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. If you read Psalm 5, 5, it tells you God hates workers of iniquity. That's not saying you won't slip up sometime. But if you literally are living in sin daily, you're a worker of iniquity. I'm telling you, God don't even hear your prayers according to the But Bible. we all live in sin. We no, all live in sin. There's no Bible verse to say that. No, I'm saying, I mean, we, we all do. Mm. Like, all of us. Do you sin every single that, day? Yeah, but there's no way that somebody cannot sin. I don't know, but it just doesn't sound realistic. You know what I mean? Ah, it only don't sound realistic because all you are around is sin. You have to pitch yourself in new positions, pitch yourself in a new place. Because if you're surrounded by people that sin, then of course you're gonna sin. Why wouldn't you? If I was around, if I was around my homies and they go to the strip club every day, they getting drunk every night, and I used to be the one getting people to get drunk. So I used to be on the opposite side of this. But mm -hmm. if that's if that's if that if that's who you were around on the daily. Of course you're going to sin every day. Duh. So you need to pitch yourself around people who's not trying to sin, who's trying to live righteously the best they can. That's what you have to do if you really want to change because you can't just say, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and then you're going to go to heaven while living the sin, bro. You got to make a change. No, I know that. I know, I know much. I know that, bro. Like, I know that. So how, so how? I know that. How many times, bro? I talked to you about this over the last few weeks, three times briefly. Every single time you said you're trying, when is that trying gonna 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 show fruit? When is that trying gonna turn into I did? So 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 here's so so I'm gonna let y'all on a little secret. So I didn't want to say this, but I'm gonna say it while I'm on this live, and I, I just don't give a fuck at this point. But there's a possibility I could be dying. Just to keep it 100 percent with y'all, there's some shit going on with me medically that I could be dying. So right now. That's, I mean, that's why I wanted to get baptized. I'm in a, I'm at a point right now where I'm like, I got to get it fixed. I know I'm not ready 100% with a whole lot of stuff. I still curse, scream. I got, you know what I'm saying? I, I my anger is crazy because I've been fucked with my whole life and people keep fucking with me still and people lying and doing all kinds of stuff. So it's a lot on my plate, but I'm trying, you feel me? But I feel like I'm being like, kind of like judge and a little bit of ridicule kind of low key for yeah, trying. I am judging. Low key. That's how I kind of feel. I don't really... You're right. Around me, you're 100% right, Bryson. Around me, I don't feel no Christian vibe. I don't feel any of that. Not one person worried about my soul. Not one fucking person worried about where I go when I die. I really feel that way. 100%. 100%, bro. So, But right now, I can die in my sleep right now, bro. bro That's listen, where I'm at. Listen, and that, So now y'all know. Bro, but listen, even with that, I'm going to say the same thing I just said. If that's the case, if you know, here's the thing, bro. And, and, I'm sorry to say it like this, but if you know or you think your time is short and on this earth, and you're still out here sinning every single day and living in sin, but you're talking about getting baptized, you think that baptized is going to mean something if you're still living the same way you did before you got baptized? I promise you it don't. I can tell you a million. Try. No, no. I'm just going to try. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What, I don't know. What that, that's what, all I can do. Bro, you don't have to have sex. You don't have to get drunk. You ain't got to do that. I, I know. I know. I know. I'm already knowing. And besides, I, right now, I I drank earlier. I was on my live. I drank some fucking Hennessy. Like, I'm stressed the fuck out. It is what it is. It what is what that, it is. What is that? What is that? Like, no disrespect, but what does that mean? It is what it is. No, it's not. That's not is what it is. You can change that. You pick up that Hennessy bottle. You Just like I used to do vodka. You pit it up. You pit it in a shot glass or a cup or however you do it. 
and then you drink it. Nobody's, you're not a robot. You're doing that. So why can't you not do that? Matter of fact, you can literally, I don't know where you at right now. You can literally go take all the alcohol you own and toss it in the, toss it in the, in the sink right now. No, I don't, I don't have no alcohol in there. I was at a bar. Oh. I don't have no alcohol. In there. You just don't, just don't, just don't go to a bar. I mean, that's easy. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Bryce and man, like, first off, I mean, you may not believe me, but I'm just being honest with you. When it comes to alcohol, I haven't been drinking. I drink like maybe once a week or something like that. I'm, honestly, I have sleep apnea. I have some other stuff going on that are unknown right now. And it's, it's a whole long story why that's unknown. Trust me, I've been bouncing back and all kind of, I ain't trying to put my personal business out there, man. But yeah, I go through it, man. And it's, oh, damn, hold on, plug my phone up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 you good, because they, they, they ready to go home. We sit in the pickup parking lot. My phone, that's at 5%. But anyway, man, um, it is what it is. I'm working on it, bro. And it's it's not easy, bro. It, I mean, I'm like a baby Christian, you know? But I know enough to, to do the right thing, man. I'm just trying to do the right thing with my music and just do the best I can. That's that's all I'm trying to do. I I know I'm far from perfect. I'm far from all of y'all. Y'all know the word all back and forth to your head and stuff, man. And bro, it's not I know I'm not I'm not there. But listen, when every, you said that every time. Here's my thing. You say you're trying to do it through music, bro. Like, I'm not even trying to take it to this point, but I've heard some of your conservative music. You're talking about pulling up and killing commies, not even in self-defense, just pulling up your Yeah. 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 I'm tired. I'm tired of what they're doing. It's bullshit. What what they're doing to us, bro. Like, let me tell you something, man. They don't care. I've been telling my fans that they don't care about their own protests. They don't care about any of that stuff, bro. They don't give a damn, bro. They own some evil, real evil stuff. They're going to drag us out of our house sooner or later, bro. They don't care. So why should I care? Why should I be nice? Why should I? That's bro, kind of where I'm at. Maybe we should be like that. No, listen, I'm giving the band, bro. I really be in the streets. I'm really on hit list. I really got real life threats and stuff like that. But we talking about doing it outside of self defense, outside of the Bible. See, once again, this is what I'm saying. You claim to want to change, but you're not changing. You stay in the same. But I, I do got to go now. As far as the you honest thing, I'm gonna keep it a band like I did earlier. I don't believe you're an honest person. But um, it it could be miscommunication. That's unfortunate because I am really an honest person. I really am, bro. Okay. It could be miscommunication, but from my honest judgment, I don't think you're an honest person at all. But what I will say is if you really genuinely trying to change, then you're going to actually have to change. All that I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't know. I don't know who y'all think God is, bro. But all that I'm trying, I'm trying, all going to take you so far. I got scriptures for days. I don't know. I don't know, Bryson. I, I don't know. I know... We tend to look at God as our own understanding sometimes. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Hey, all I know is I feel like my heart is where it's, it needs to be, bro. That's all I can say. Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 18 through 19. God literally tells you that the person living in wickedness will die because of his iniquity. And if yeah, you wickedness, though. Let me finish. You know? Let me finish. But if you don't warn him, then his blood will be on your hands. But if you warn him, he will still die in his iniquity. But you're good. So all I can do is say I warned you. But, you know, I'm out, bro. I don't know. It's what it is. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. Huh? He said he, said he don't sin ever. He said he, said he don't sin ever. I... So yeah, that's a, that's a good point. So if you have a bad thought, then that's sin, right? Serious business. If you have a bad thought, you're sinning. And I honestly believe, and, and nobody can say anything to change to, to change it. I really honestly believe that when I dropped that record, it was ill will for with all my enemies because people who aren't enemies with me didn't drop the record. And there was no solid answer or anything with, you know, when it comes to the first little beef between me and Bryson Gray. You know what I'm saying? When he didn't post a record a year ago, you know, lots of people were being censored. Lots of conservatives. They were dogging us out. He had a bigger fan base than me. I felt like he should have posted it. I felt like he should have really put the record out there. What about the numbers? What about the cloud? What about the number one? It was for the people. You know what I'm saying? And he should have did that. Because I would have. If I was in his shoes, I would have done that. But the record didn't go nowhere. Still to this day, nobody knows what that song is about. You see what I'm saying? And I took it personal. Should I went online and said something? Maybe not, but I'm for the people. If I smell something that seems lefty or smell something that seems bad, I'm going to say something about it. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but 
That's just what it is. Just like with this live right now. And somebody said in the comment box, he's being insensitive. Bryson claims to be a perfect Christian, but he's not coming off perfect to me. You know what I'm saying? And I know I've been telling my fans I'm not a perfect Christian. So why are we having a conversation about that? Why not, why not have a conversation about healing, about bringing a brother up or something like that? You get what I'm saying? It, was, it wasn't about that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. If y'all want to rock with that, then it is what it is. But I'm glad y'all said heaven, though. Nobody said they wanted me to go to hell. So I appreciate that to all the Bryson fans out there. But I can't rock with that. And then Bryson said he don't want to be cool because I'm a liar. What am I really lying about? You know what I'm saying? It's something that was distasteful, and I spoke about it, but that has nothing to do with lying. Maybe I'm distasteful about some things, but I'm not lying about shit. What am I really lying about? I told y'all the truth. If there's anything that's truthful or it's something that I said or did, didn't I say, yes, I did this, yes, this and that on the live? But then I told him, but this is how you feel. And this is this and that. I corrected myself and he did never correct himself. He never, he just, I'm perfect. I never did anything wrong. Like, come on, bro. Point blank period. If you got an issue or a problem with somebody, you're not going to do the same record as them. I wouldn't. If Bryson Gray came out with a record with a title, which he's done many times, I'm not going to copy his same title because he's blowing up if I have a problem with him. You get what I'm saying? And, um, you know, let's not forget, that Burden called me and texted me, and Burden hit me up and he asked me, I promise you, Burden can, will vouch. Burden hit me up and he was like, yo, Loza, can I do a Let's Go Brandon? Even after everybody did a Let's Go Brandon, he called me and said, can I do a Let's Go Brandon, bro? I said, yeah, bro. I got much respect for him when he did that to me. Because he called me and he had, he had respect. Like, I don't want to come out there and seem like I'm cloud chasing. You feel me? I got some other MAGA rappers, can't remember that his name. I never even heard him before, but they was in my DM and they said, yo, Loza, man, I was going to do one, but I didn't want to like seem like I'm biting, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. And, and remember, to all the Bryson fans, I know you guys are still here. It's not that it's not that I'm mad that he came out with the song, the same song title. I said this on my last line. It's the, it's the intent. It's the intent. He knows he don't get along with me, and that was sour. I think that was pretty fucked up that he did that. And then he tried to go in the media and say that he created it first. You feel me? Um, and as far as like tonight with, with the Christianity stuff, it was like more bashing, like, oh, well, you're going to go to hell. You ain't got no, I don't think God, I honestly believe that I don't work that way. Honestly, I really don't. Yeah, God will send your ass to hell if you keep fucking up. You can't keep fucking up because you will go to hell. I really believe that. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say like, I can do whatever I want to do and God will send me, send me to heaven. Like, I ain't trying to say that either. But I know God got a plan for me. And I know my heart's in the right place. And that's why I'm still alive. I have some medical issues right now. Almost died a couple times in my sleep. If you guys notice why I'm breathing through my mouth, yeah, part of my medical issues. So I'm breathing through my mouth. I'm having breathing issues, chest pain, chest issues, heart issues. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff that people don't know about. But, um, you know, it's just stress in itself. It sucks. But it is what it is, you know? I know it's demons. I know it's a bunch of motherfucking demons just testing me out and trying to weaken me, man. But, you know, I'm going to keep battling and keep doing my thing, putting a message out there and putting a positive message out there and just keep fighting. And I know God, I'm not God. I know the devil don't want me and Bryson to get along. Don't want me and my girl to get along. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's going to be, it's going to be hell. It's going to be hard. You know, God, um, I keep saying God, the devil don't want to see anything good. And that's a fact. <laughs> and I think even even Bryson's fans can agree with that. I think you guys can even agree with that. Like the devil don't want none of this stuff. <laughs> you know, he's gonna do whatever he can in his power to make sure that we don't get along. And he's been getting on the my skin all night. It's been some crazy stuff. Today was like one of the worst days ever. Though. Like today was a really bad day. And the devil definitely got to me for sure. And um, I guess, you know, everybody else. But, you know. Y'all can go like perfect Bryson. I'm not perfect. I tell y'all right now, I'm nowhere near perfect. I got a whole lot of stuff going on in my life. And I'm never going to come off like I'm perfect because I'm not. Straight up. I'm not. Nowhere near. <laughs> nowhere fucking near. And I was like, bro, of course. I was agreeing with Bryson. I'm like, yeah, bro, I already know. You know what I'm saying? 
scared, man. I think that was pretty fucked up. And I will. I appreciate y'all. I'm keeping my head up. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Uh, none of us is perfect. None of us. And and that's another thing I don't like about Bryson is that he's trying to claim that he don't sin at all. But like, bro, you're sinning right now. You're putting me down. Bryson was putting me down. There's nothing Christian about that. That should be a sin in itself somewhere. Ridicule and bashing. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my opinion. But no, I'm definitely gonna do that. I got a lot of records I gotta put out. I got I got a lot to do. I got a lot to record. I've been having interviews like crazy. Um, you know, I got you know, I gotta do this Dr. Sebi treatment on my health. I got a lot of stuff with my health is should be the most important thing, honestly. It really should. I look like a damn fool. You know what I mean? Like my I can't fucking die right now, die in my damn sleep, bro. I gotta really fix this shit. I wake up in the morning, chest pain, can barely breathe, like it's bad. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I got it. I'm too young. I'm 33 years old with all kind of health problems. So I got to get it together. You know what I'm saying? All this other shit, man, that shit is crazy. And me and Bryson probably would never be cool. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Maybe. And then on, because I could text Bryson about, we could probably start with the Bible stuff. I could text Bryson. I know he'll respond to me and he'll talk to me when it comes to the Bible. And I will genuinely ask him questions or ask him anything when he learns something. But the only thing when it comes to the Bible that I don't agree with with Bryson, the only one thing, everything else Bryson got pretty much I agree with. But the only thing I don't agree with is him saying that Jesus isn't God. I believe Jesus is God. He is the Messiah. He is Lord. I believe that. I will never believe anything else. So it's kind of hard for me to kind of take in what he's saying serious, not only because his actions and how he treats me and shit, whatever, and what we went through. And he's, and, and he's calling me a liar, but he's not telling y'all how he really feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know he feels different. But he thinks that Jesus isn't God, bro. That's denying the Holy Spirit to me. Jesus wasn't no regular person, bro. Like, come on. How the hell? How in the hell is he regular? Jesus is God, y'all. Jesus is God, y'all. I promise you. Don't you read the Bible? Don't, don't 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 get caught up, man. Like Jesus is Lord, bro. He's not playing. Jesus is God for real. He was God. Jesus came down into man, which is technically the Son of God. Technically, right? Son of God. He's the Son of God, and he's God at the same time. This is something that people just can't comprehend, and I think it's a little bit of. It's just something that uh. How do I explain it? It's just something like a man. And this is the same issue that they had when Jesus was alive. That's why they killed him. Bryson remind me of the people that was killing him. They didn't want to believe he was God, bro. Don't y'all understand? That's the reason why Jesus died. They killed him. They killed him. They wanted to crucify him because he was claiming he's a son, the God, son of God, but G God. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he spoke and said he is God, bro, so many times in the Bible. And he said he was the son of God, but they didn't want to believe any of that stuff, and they killed him for it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I hope y'all heard that. I'm still learning, but I'm going by faith. I believe that Jesus is God by faith. And that's strong. That's stronger than knowing the Bible in and out. I just believe it by faith. I believe that, that Jesus is God. Too. He is Lord. I don't believe he was white. I'm just saying. I don't think he was white, though, like how they trying to make it. The government on some, you already know the left is trying to be on some, you know, they on some weird shit. They, they, they just do that shit to, to, for their own little agenda. But I, I, other than that, I believe Jesus is God. 100%. So, should I ask Bryson questions about the Bible? I don't know. I don't know. Should I? I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to ask God what to do. Because I don't know what to do with Bryson. A side of me wants to be cool with him, but a side of me really don't want to be cool with him at all. So I'm going to have to ask God. I'm going to ask God tonight and pray, Lord, what do you want me to do with Bryson? You want me to be cool with him? What, what do you, do you want me to just part ways, God? What do you want me to do? 
because at the end of the day, it's about the people. And I really don't want, I really don't want y'all drug into the stuff, man. But y'all just, y'all coming for the ride, apparently. But yeah. And I know, you know, I said, just stop obsessing over Bryson. I know, well, people drug me into it. And Bryson's been doing a lot of stuff online. And, you know, him and Topher and everybody's doing a lot of discredit and a lot of fucked up. And and also for those who think Jesus is God, I see y'all comments. Look, let me tell you something. And see, this is something that Bryson won't tell y'all. I don't know if this is evil or fucked up to say, because I care about each and every one of y'all. Even the Bryson fans, I love you guys. I don't want you guys to go to hell either. You know what I'm saying? Even though y'all hate me and don't like me, it is what it is. But if you don't believe Jesus is God, that's on you. If for all the Bryson fans out there, if you guys came over to my house right now and was talking to me, like we'll 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 chill and drink a beer. I'll I'll chill with you, drink a beer, and I won't even talk about any of this stuff. I really don't care. I really don't care. That's your soul. That is your life. Just like with somebody's gay. If somebody's gay, Bryson can't hang out with somebody that's gay, bro. I can. If you're gay, as long as you don't touch me, as long as you don't try to flirt with me or disrespect me, bro. You could be my friend. We can go out and have a drink or whatever and talk and whatever. As long as you don't try to disrespect me, bro, we're cool. Bryson can't do that. You're supposed to love thy neighbor. You're supposed to show your love. It's all about that. It all starts from there. If you can't do that, something is wrong with you. If you can't agree with what I'm saying, I don't know. I, I don't know the whole Bible all in and out. And I'm telling y'all, I don't. I'm still in the process of reading and seeking God, but I do know that. I do know that. You know what I'm saying? I do know that you're supposed to show your neighbor some love. You're supposed to sh you're never supposed to judge anybody. You're never supposed to shun anybody. You're never supposed to put anybody down. You're not supposed to. Even if you know the Bible in and out. Even if you're a pastor. Even if you're what, whoever. You don't do that. You just don't. You just don't. Because you never know who needs to be saved. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody really needs your word. Maybe somebody really needs your friendship. Maybe you can save somebody's life. You just don't know. That's why God makes it as a sin. You're not supposed to be, you know, you're not supposed to show any hate or shun anybody because you don't know what they need at that very moment. You don't know. So for, to all the Bryson fans, I just, I don't have no, I, you know what? Forgive me for what I said to y'all, to the Bryson fans. Forgive me. I was just mad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say fuck y'all or any of that. I apologize for cussing y'all out. I apologize. I get angry and I get upset. But understand this. I just don't understand. I'm not telling y'all to unfollow Bryson or nothing. I just don't understand how y'all rock with him. After everything that has happened between me and him and how he acts with the Christianity stuff, he has, he is lit. I told him about getting baptized. He said nothing through text. And I'm not like Bryson. I'm not going to post it, but I can. I got the text. I can screenshot and post it. But I'll scratch out his number. He didn't even scratch out my number. He had a whole bunch of fans texting me. Bryson has no respect for me. He didn't say, I'm sorry. Did he, look, did he say anything? I'm sorry, Lowe's, that you're going through the breathing problem. I'm breathing through my mouth like a fucking old ass man. I have all kinds of problems. I'm 30, 33 years old. You feel me? I told him I'm, I'm, I think I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say, I'm sorry to hear nothing. So I, I'm not even trying to get on his head for that. All I'm saying is I just don't understand how y'all fuck with Bryson. I just don't understand how y'all claim he's a perfect Christian or any of this type of stuff because he literally showed y'all just now with me on the live that he wasn't. He tried to question me about politics. Tried to question me what I know about Trump. I know what I do know about Trump. I know enough. I know this. I don't know every single thing Trump did. I don't know. See how I can be honest? See how easy that is? I don't know every single fucking thing Trump did. I know enough, though. I know, hold on, I know that um, Donald Trump is the only person that got slandered online for doing something positive. We got Tupac, Malcolm X, we got, we got uh, 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 who else? Michael Jackson. We got all these people who spoke out, and what happened to them? They got bashed by the media, right? That's all you need to know. You don't even need to know everything that Trump did. All you need to know is the little things that he's done for this country and know what the left agenda is. And that's all you need to know. You don't need to know every single motherfucking thing he did. No, I know Trump is the best fucking president we have for the little things that I do know that he did. And I know for a motherfucking fact how Democrats get down. 
I know for a fact they started racism. They started the race war. I know about the crime bill shit in 1994. I know about Kamala Harris and them joining together at that time too. I know these. Oh, I know about the supply chain fucking up right now. I know about the troops that he's over right now. I know about all that stuff. The scenes pushing on us, all that stuff. The new, the, I can't even say half this stuff. Y'all know the new world, all that stuff. The human population. I know about all that shit. Right? That's all I need to know. I know exactly what these motherfuckers is doing and what he do. Try to bash me and say, oh, Lozy, you don't know what's going on. I do know. But you're not going to try to make me look bad in front of these fans like I don't know everything because I, I really don't know every everything, but I know enough. You just need to know enough. And you can dig down a rabbit hole as far as you want to go. You just need to know enough and do something about it. You can know everything and not do shit. I'm willing to, to collaborate. I'm willing to be friends with anybody if it means that we're going to go against these evil fucking assholes. Because at the end of the day, whether you're a Bryson fan or a Loza fan, we don't like these motherfuckers and you know it. We don't like it. Am I lying? We don't like them. We, th th I mean, the disrespect that these people are doing to us is crazy. Like, I don't, like what? Like, these motherfuckers is evil. It's like, bro, it's, it, oh my God, bro. It's only going to get worse from here on out. I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck going on, but I can guarantee you this. I can promise you this, and you heard it from Loza. Remember this live. Screen record it. Take screenshots. Remember this live. There will be a time that will come. We're all going to have to stick together, whether you like it or not. You're going to have to choose a side. I promise you. And it's going to be the worst shit you have ever seen in your life. How much you want to bet? This little problem that me and him got going on is not even going to be, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be nothing. These people aren't playing. I keep telling y'all, they are not fucking playing. They don't care about the, the, the little beef. It's, it's like, it's like, a, 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 a grain of salt in open space. That's how small it is compared to what's about to really go down. They're not going to care about your sins. They're not going to care about the Bryce and Gray beef. Let's go, Brandon. None of that shit. I truly believe the astral world shit they got going on. I really believe wholeheartedly. I really believe this. And nobody said this but me. I really believe that they the man went out there and said, we got to go kill people in the stage and do a satanic ritual to take away the attention from Let's Go Brandon. I 100% believe that with all of my heart. with Because they took that attention away real fucking fast. I, nobody said that but me. My intuition, and Bryson want to say that I'm not connected with a guy like that. I must be. Because that literally came to me. and It's like the Lord was speaking to me. He said, this is why they did that. I really believe that. Y'all may have your opinion. I really believe that. They took the attention off Let's Go Brandon so fucking quick. They were like, oh, it's getting too big. We got to... Uh-uh. And, and, then, and then he went number one. Did y'all know that Let's Go Brandon, there's never been four songs of the same title on the fucking iTunes charts in history? Did y'all know that we made history? There has never been in history, ever, ever in the music history, there's never been four songs with the same title from different artists, ever. It was that big. The biggest thing that has ever happened in America was Let's Go Brandon. And they took that, they said, they sat down, they sat down in a meeting and they said, we got to sacrifice somebody in the name of Satan. We have to do this right now. We're going to take the attention off. We're going to slaughter everybody. I guarantee you. I promise you. I believe that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't know. They can say whatever on the media. I truly believe that. They took that attention away real quick. Telling y'all they're not fucking playing with you. They're not playing. And that's the thing I'm trying to tell Bryson. Like, stop focusing on the perfect Christian stuff. That's between me and God. Me and God will figure that out. And yes, Bryson, you're 100% right. I know what I got to do. I know I got to do that. I know time's ticking. I know. That's between me and God, though. But the people, the people just need the positive word. The people need to move. The people need to feel better. And all we can do is uplift their spirits. That's it. They don't care about the beef. They want to see us collaborate. They don't care about this other stuff, bro. They don't. They really don't care. Matter of fact, I know a lot of y'all disappointed. I know y'all don't don't even try to sugarcoat it. I know y'all upset about this. I know y'all don't want me and Bryson beef. 
Y'all can say whatever. I know Bryson fans really don't like me, but I know y'all don't want to see. You know, only reason why y'all don't, some of y'all don't like me is because of Bryson. Because if it wasn't for him, you would have been like, oh, Lowe's is dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, be honest with yourself. You, you only don't like me because of him. But whatever. I spoke my piece. I'll, I'll, I'll read y'all comments, whatever, now. Because I know y'all want me to read y'all comments, but I spoke my piece. I had to tell y'all how I felt. It is what it is. Stress me out today. Tag me, no. I don't know what Bryson is. I know. I mean. And yeah, let me, and, and yeah, let me correct myself too. First off, is Jesus the reason why all of this is going, you know, number one and stuff, but it's y'all too. You guys are the reason why. Without you guys, me and Bryson ain't shit. So let me give y'all y'all credit. I'm sorry I've got a lot going on in my head. Let me give y'all y'all credit. You guys are the reason why me and Bryson are popping. You guys are the reason why there is a Let's Go brand. It's because of y'all. So shout out to the Bryson fans. Shout out to shout out to my fans. You guys are the reason why. Without y'all, we can't do nothing. So, and without Jesus, there's no way that any of this can happen in the first place. So let me just correct myself. I just got a lot going on, and I'm pretty. I'm still pissed. So, like I said, man, and again, 